And here we are. Beautiful. So welcome, everybody. And I see Miriam as well is joining us. That's wonderful. Um, so we are right now uh, in in the thick of things in, in Shmuel, Shmuel 1, and we're up to uh, chapter um, chapter 17. Uh, just a quick a quick uh, uh, synopsis. Chapter 16 was, uh, uh, if you remember, um, it was where the Lord sends sends Shmuel. He sends Shmuel over to uh, um, uh, to to the house of Jesse and uh, the Bethlehemite, and there he goes through all the children of whom God has chosen. And of course, Jesse is shy. Starts with the oldest son and works his way through until only one is is picked. Who is picked? David. As it happens to be, we know of the story that uh, Shaul started. The king Saul started having uh, some kind of uh, of 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 unease. Whether it was it was some kind of of course a mental uh, uh, disorder that he had, whether it was dementia, I, we don't know what what it was. But he had an evil spirit that would take over. Um, and the way that his his aides figured out what calmed him down was music. And who was the music player? David. David, David used to play right there. David. David. Uh, as as the famous Leonard. Uh, Leonard Cohen song goes right. Uh, he had a he had a magic chord right. So um, so David David was 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 wooed to the uh, to the palace in order to play for Shaul and Shaul really really liked him. He took a liking to David and any time he had this bout of 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 evil spirit over him, uh, he called for David and David uh, was able to uh, to restore his uh, um, his sanity. Um, it's interesting to note by the way. That music is one of those highest levels of. Um, it's hard to explain. I don't know what, how to explain in English, but even in 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 Jewish in 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 religious circles, music has this very high spiritual um, thing about it, an element about it. It's up there with kehuna. The only thing that's higher is learning Torah. Uh, then there's kehuna, which is. Uh, becoming the king king uh, and having a and an, an ascending to the throne and music music is also up there in terms of what it does the the the, the in order of, uh, how, how how great of an impression leaves on each and every one so we were introduced to david and now there's a little bit of a a, 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 a an incredible story which you all know um, the funny things about it is whether chronologically where it fits in because we've already been introduced to David in the uh, in the palace, and now suddenly you'll see that there's going to be a little bit of a uh, of something different here. Um, so the 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 commentaries differ as to whether this took place before or after. Not that it really changes uh, much, but um, as we'll go through it, if you have any questions, please just let me know. So without further ado, chapter seventeen. Vaya sfu felishtim et machanehem la milchama. The Philistines assembled their forces with the uh, uh, with the clear intention of battle, Vayasfu Socha, and they uh, all assembled at Socho, Asher Lihuda, which is which is in the um, the the province of belonging to Judah, Vayachanu Ben Shocho Uven Azeka, the the precise. The precise location was in between Shocho and in between Azeka, which is another place. Where was it? They were Be'efes Damim. That was the name of the place. Ve'Shaul, Ve'ish Yisrael Ne'esfu. They had no choice, and so Saul and the men of Israel amassed as well. Ve'yachanu Be'emek Ha'ela. And there they encamped in the valley of Ela. Ve'archu milchama likrat plishtim. And they and they and, and they prepared uh, 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 to to go up and battle against the Flesh team. They they, um, they they assembled in 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 a military uh, kind of way to to anticipate battle. So they're they're getting ready to war. So if you remember, they were in a valley. Ela, what usually what surrounds a valley? What makes a valley? Mountains, hills, hills, mountains. mountains. You have to have one mountain on this side, one mountain on this side, and 
the valleys in this side, right? So mm -hmm. now, as they're preparing to battle, everybody knows the high ground is always where the power is. Lishtim are on one, one mountain top, and the Israelites are on the other mountain top. Okay? So they're standing each other. The Haggai ben Ahem and the valley is between them, the ravine. Vayetze ish habinai mimachanot lishtim and a champion of the Philistine forces stepped forward. Goliath Shmo Migat. His name is Goliath. Any, anybody heard of this guy before? Goliath. Goliath. Goliath, exactly. And Goliath comes out, and he is from Gath, which is um, which which is not far from Ashkelon. If everybody would, it's a bit south from Ashkelon, okay? Govho Shesh Amot Vazeret. He was incredibly, incredibly tall. He was six cubits in height um, and a span tall. Um, some say that uh, that he was almost nine feet tall, somewhere around that height. Okay, so he was a very, very large human being. Vechova nechoshet al rosho, and on his head he wore a bronze helmet. Veshiryon kas kasim hulavush, and he had a breast plate protection and i you know, like like you've seen it you know like uh, where they wore that was that was full of scales so not only was he large physically but he also had incredible armament uh umishkal hashiryon and the 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 weight of the uh, uh of the breastplate of of all his armament weighing chameshet alafim shkalim nechoshet weighing five thousand um uh, uh breast uh of, of, of five thousand shekels of uh, bronze so I, I guess i guess they had different types of of uh, money this was five thousand bronze shkalim that's what was the the um the uh, uh the weight of this which was a huge 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 amount um i saw somewhere i think it was it was close to 200 pounds just just the armament okay he also had protection on his feet, made it of bronze. And a bronze javelin slung from his shoulder. So this guy was like a, he was a mobile tank. This guy was 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 nobody to be to be messed around with. The etz chanito, and the 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 wooden shaft of his spear. Kim nor or gim was like a weaver's bar. Velahevet chaniton, the iron head of his spear. Shesh meot shkalim barzel weighed six hundred iron uh, or metal shekels. Venosei hatzina holech lefanav, and the shield bearer marched in front of him. So we had beforehand in last chapter we were introduced that David rose to be what he was shaul's armor bearer do you remember that he he would carry the armaments for for shaul here it's not that the person was carrying armaments he was so full laden you needed one man who actually just carried his shield <laughs> so only when he needed it in order, i guess to be mobile it was that it was such large um such heavy such heavy uh, uh armaments that he had vayamod Vaikra el ma'arachot Israel. He stepped forward, he stopped, and he called out to the ranks of the Israelites. Vayomer lahem, and he screamed out to them, and he said, Lama tetzu roch milchama. Let's think about it, he says. Why are we all going to war? I have an idea. Halo anochi haplishti. I am, I am a, a Philistine champion. And each one of you are like servants to Shaul. In other words, you're you're you you. I'm a champion. You're 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 the you're on the other side. You're all you're all the uh, the um, uh, the subject of Shaul. You know what? This is what I have an idea. Why not do this? Go and choose amongst yourselves a champion. Choose go choose a warrior. And send him to me. Im yuchali lachem iti vehikani, and we'll make a deal. If he's able to combat with me, and he besets me, he beats me. Vehayinu lachem laavadim, 
we will be your servants. However, However, if I overcome him, if I am able to to uh, uh, to, to beat your champion, then it will be the reverse. You shall be slaves for us, and you will work for us. You will serve us. Do you notice a little bit of a change in language, the way that he describes the um, what the task will be? Right, he says, if you if you beat, we will be your servants. If we beat you, you'll be our servants, and, and you'll serve us. He's already assuming that what? That he's going to win. That he's going to win. He's already you just get ready. He's basically warming them up, right, buttering them up. Just get ready to serve us, basically. Okay. Vayomer haplishti, and the Philistine ended. Ani cherafti et marachot Israel hayom hazeh. I here with defy the ranks of Israel. I'm 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 embarrassing you. Tnu li ish veni lachem ayachad. I implore you. Give me give me give me somebody. Send a champion my way. Let's go for it. I mean, let's go. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna decimate you. I'm gonna embarrass you here. But all let's go. Send send somebody over. Vaishma Shaul vechol Israel. And Shaul and all those gathered there, all the men of Israel heard this cry. These words. And they were dismayed and terror-stricken um, greatly. So in other words, they were obviously... They're, number one, you look look at it militarily, right? Now he, he has established the way that the combat is going to be. They could have said, no, we're going to, they could have just stormed down, but they almost in, in, instinctively or, 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 or through their, their inaction, they accepted that type of uh, war condition. In other words, we're going to go one-on-one, -on -one, right? They could have said, no, we're going to go army per army. No. So now they don't know what, what, what to do. The David ben Ish Ephrati Hazeh, David was the son of from the tribe of uh, from from Ephrati from Ephrat, um, and the Beit Lechem Yehuda. He used to, he was he was from from Bethlehem, which was in again the ter territory of Judah, and this is where the war is also taking place. Right, this is in in the Judean uh, uh, territory, and who is his father? Ushmo Ishai, the father of David is Ishai, Velosh Monavanim. And he has eight sons. Vahish be may Shaul zaken ba vaanashim, and uh, and in the days of Shaul, the man was already old. Jesse was was old and advanced in years. So they're giving us a little bit again of a backward back uh, detail, which we were actually introduced to last last uh, parak when Shmuel goes to Ishai and he goes through all the sons. But now we know. In terms of where do these children fit in? Last chapter, we suddenly have this guy Jesse, seemingly out of nowhere, you know, who, who Sh Shmuel goes out to meet his sons. Why? Can't be that this guy just happens to be a nobody, and God suddenly favors this person. Let's find out what his children are doing. Valchu. Shloshet bnei Ishai Hagdolim, the eldest three sons of Jesse, had gone alchu achare Shaul lamilchama. They were warriors, and they entered the encampment. They followed. Um, they had gone to war with Shaul. Veshem shloshet banav, those three sons, Asher alchu bamilchama, that had inscribed into the war. Eliav habechor, the eldest was Eliav. Umishnehu avinadav. The second was Avinadah, Vehashlishi, Shama, and the third son was Shama. So they are warriors. Now we understand that Jesse is obviously his 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 offsprings are not just right little. These are these are warriors. These are these are brazen, very strong, uh, uh, capable, physically uh, human beings, and 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 they they've joined they've joined the the, the ranks of Shaul. The David, however. He is the youngest. Hagdolim again, and it reemphasizes. However, he's the youngest. 
but the three eldest had followed Shaul. So seemingly so far, it does not say, right? Uh, <coughs> we, we have not been introduced to, uh, it seems like David has not been introduced yet at all to Shaul, right? In the story. Now listen to this one. However, the David and David, Holech Vashav Me'al Shaul, David would go back and forth from attending to Shaul. Why? He would go back, Lirot et son Aviv Beit Lachem. He was responsible at home to take care of his father's flock. So, so there's a little bit of a hint that he would go back and forth from playing music for Shaul, but he also had the obligation at home to take care of the uh, the flock. What what's what's the importance here? What is what 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 is that detail so important for us to know? Well, that he cares about his father. Okay, and he's very responsible. Okay, you can say that. All right, but he had he he had eight he had eight children. Eight uh, uh, there were eight, so seven. He had seven siblings, right? Mm -hmm. We were told of three, and we're told the last one, right? Or I should say, right, the last one. How many are still left? If there are eight, four. four. What are they doing? If Shaul, if David is is busy. If David is busy, right, in in with at the king, why the heck is he going back home? It's not like he can hop on a metro and you know ten minutes later he's in Bethlehem or or on a bus. It would, I'm sure, be a, a trip, right? So why wh what's this whole story about? Why what that why that detail that he is watching the sh why is he the shepherd? Any any suggestions? They are either responsible somewhere else for something. Okay. And they're not doing, or else they're not doing anything, and they're irresponsible. And he's left to do everything. But why is that detail important? That's what I'm saying. He, he they, so, it, so they, they could have said David was a responsible man, or a young lad. Why? What, what, what's this? What's this idea that he, he was responsible for the fuck? I think it's to stress his profession as a shepherd. That's what he does best. Okay. Okay. And well, shepherds take care of people, so he's a lead. He he would be a if he's going to become the king, he would be have all the qualities of caring for other people and other things, and his responsibility would lead him into that kind who, of position. Which, which leader was the um, uh, attended flock? Who was who was mm -hmm. also Saul? Not Saul, but who 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 is the pentaultimate? Moses. 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 Right? So yeah. we have kind of, if you want to kind of look at it, there's kind of a similarity. He was also, if you remember, when we when we are introduced to to Moses in, in his glory, in other words, when he hits, when he starts hitting or becoming, you know, into his own, was where? With the with the burning bush, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what happened? He ran after one of his flocks that was, right? One of his sheep that ran out of the flock, because that, that's what he did. It said, Moshe, Roetzon, uh, right? Moshe. Yaakov was also in, in it, in it, but Moshe is the is the penta, right? Exactly what Esther you were saying. There's kind of like a, a a comparison in terms of the way that you take care of your flock, you take care of your people. So it's very similar. As well, the other the other idea I think is that he was a home homeboy. In other words, he took care of the farming. You know, his three eldest were the big, strong, brazen type. He was still, uh, you know, he was there. He was dealing with the animals. That's what he could handle. If you want to look at it in a simplistic form, not in a, in, in if you want to call it in a, um, you know, in, in a, 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 a metaphoric way, but if, yeah. but in, yeah, in, in actual, in the actuality, he was capable. His, his ability was, oh, or his responsibilities were not great yet. He was still young. What did he take care of? He was a farmer. He took care of the animals. That, that, that was his duty at home. So he would go and play, maybe make some money at uh, at the king's palace and come back home and take care of his... That, that That's what he did. He was not yet mature enough to be on his own. He was still going back home. Okay? So obviously he was quite young. And that's the picture that we get between the three that have joined the army, which was repeated twice. Shaul was said already once. Totally different ranks. Three that are prepared, and he's still young and 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 innocent. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, this, this Philistine, this giant, stepped forward morning and evening. For 40 days, 
he would cry out, find me somebody to battle me. So this was this this was not only over one day, 40 days, tuck, 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 okay? Every time he gets up. 40 days again, what happens with Moses in 40 days? We're coming to the holiday uh, this late on. Well, because the Jews are in the, they were in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. Not in the desert. Well, what and do you well, Moses was up on Sinai for 40 days. Exactly. Moses went up to the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights, which is the holiday of, that we're about to, 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 uh, to, to observe uh, uh, tomorrow night, starting tomorrow night. So Shavuot. This is, so again, a little bit of a hint. 40 days that, that Goliath is out there screaming to Israelites, egging them on. Come on, pick somebody. Come on, bring somebody for me. Okay. Vayomer Yishai le David beno. Yishai Jesse tells David his son. He says, "Why don't you take this? Efa is the size of a, a particular uh, 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 measurement. Take this efa of parched corn, vasara lechem hazen. Take ten ten loaves of bread, beharetz hamachane leachecha." And go and bring them up to your brothers. So, in other words, in other words, go see how they are doing. If they're if they're hungry, go feed your brothers. All right. So, where is where is David? Where is David? Home. He's home. Exactly what we read. He's taking care. The other is at Shaul's place. Obviously, Shaul is not there because he's in war. So he ain't playing music in at, at, at battlefront. So he's at home taking care of the sheep. And his father tells him, "Hey, you know what?" Your brothers are at war. Why don't you go and take him some food? Okay. Also bring him these ten, ten, ten cheeses. Go bring to the, to the captain of the thousands. In words, somebody who's to one of the captains. Please go and find out how your brothers are doing. Please bring them, uh, bring some token, bring some news. From, from them. So in other words, go, he wants to know how his brothers are doing. He's a concerned father. He's sending food, not only to, to, to his sons, but also to the, to, to, to the captain. And he wants to find that news. Shaul and the brothers and all the men of Israel were now in that region, which is Emek, the valley of Elah. They're not quite battling yet, but they are in in preparing for the war with Plishtim. Vayashken David Baboker, David listens to his father, he wakes up in the morning, Vaitoshet Hatzon al Hashomer, and he charges the flock, he puts the all, all of the sheep uh with, with one of with one of uh, uh one of the guards. I, I guess he had a he had a help as well. Ishai was obviously not a poor person, so he had a couple of servants as well. Shaul was uh, David was in charge, but he has a helper. And he charges that helper with taking care of the flock. And he set forth and left uh, just as his father had commanded him. And he finally reached the barricade, the and the the the, the army and the, uh, the the troops. el uh, going out to the battle. Veherau bamil chama, and uh, he can hear all the shouting and the war cries, and and, and I guess it was taunting, all the yelling that took took place uh, in it, in 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 the area. Vataroch Israel flishtim maracha lekrat maracha, Israel and the Philistines drop their battle lines opposite each other. So there's kind of like a stalemate, but they were battle, kind of showing, I guess, uh, uh, some kind of. Nobody wanted to actually start it, okay? But every day they would go in and out, in and out, and this guy, this giant, is yelling, etc. And you know, when you see a, 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 these these depictions of old wars, you know, and you hear everybody, you know, running down the mountain, they're yelling, or or there's some kind of 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 noise, whether it's through horns or or through drums, but there's some kind of 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 war cries that are going out from both camps. Vaitosh David et hakelim alav. David left his baggage, all his belongings which he was carrying, al yad shomer hakelim, with the man who was in charge of all the equipment. Vayaratz hamaracha, 
and he ran towards the battle lines, and he ran in search of his, his brothers, and he wanted to find out and greet his brothers to see how they were doing. While he was talking with them, and as he's going and he's speaking to his brothers, the champion, his name is Goliath. Once it's interesting, the text again. So it's, it's almost like like it's it's written that David is reading this, right? It's kind of like David is right now introduced to him, a big a champion from David's eyes. This this champion, this big guy, comes up, whose name was Goliath, and and Migat. He came from Gath, Mimarachot Plishtim. He steps forward from the line of uh, the Philistine ranks. And he spoke the same words as before. In other words, bring me a man, choose for me a man, battle me, and the conditions, of course, you win, we serve you, we win, you serve us. So now David hears this himself. And the entire campment of Israelites, when they saw this champion, this Philistine, they fled, they retreated um, from in, in great terror. And the men of Israel would say, Did you see that giant coming? Did you see that man coming out? He comes out to defy, to embarrass, to 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 um, uh, 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 belittle uh, the Israelites. We're certain that if a man steps forward to represent the Israelites, and and he defeats that Philistine, the the king Shaul will make him a very rich man. Not only that, we are certain that that if an Israelite can defeat that 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 champion, Shaul will even give him one of his daughters to marry. And also, the whoever that man, um, the 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 king will grant him exem exemption of what exemption from taxes, exemption from 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 levy. levy Whatever might be uh, free trade, uh, uh, if, if if he owes any money, in other words, the whole household. What what a benefit to the person who uh, who would be able to um, to defeat the steps forward. So in other words, he hears them saying, "Can you imagine? Can you imagine what the king would give uh, as a reward for anybody who steps forward and actually battles and beats this this, this giant?" Vayomer David hela anashim, and so David. Speaks and asks the man standing near him. What will be done for the man who kills that Philistines? Israel and will remove this disgrace. This, 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 this. Uh, um, the disgrace, of course, of them being scared to go forward to 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 battle. They were they were they were seems to be frozen for for a month plus. So David says he almost makes them repeat it. What 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 will what, what, what will be done to the person who actually beats this this person, and 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 removes the disgrace from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that dares defy the ranks of the living God? So David does something very different. David now moves the battle. From a physical battle to spirituality, can you see it? He finally brings in that hey, we we've lost any trust in God. God is putting us here, and we're we we're frozen. And he's asking, who is this uncircumcised person um, who who stands for for um, uh, for, for for gods which which are 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 impure um, and, and 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 abominations? Who stands? Who who is he to defy and to disgrace um, uh, the living God, God, our God? 
Vayomer lo ha'am, the troops, all those uh, uh, surrounding him, answered him, Kadavar hazelemor, they repeated those same words which they said about that the king will give them great riches, will we'll, we'll marry, uh, will give him his daughter to marry, uh, and of course will we'll exempt his family, his, his household. And he told him, this is what we will do to the man, Laish Asher Yakenu, to the man who will kill and will defeat that giant. Vaishma Eliav Achiv Agadol Bedobro El Hanashim. Eliav, his brother, listen, here's, here's what he's talking. Vaichar Af Eliav Bedavid. And Eliav starts getting angry with David. And he says, Vayomer, Lama Zeyarata. Why the heck are you here? Why are you da- why, why, why did you come? The Almi Natashta Meat Son Haheina Bamidbar. And 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 not only that, who did you leave? You know, you have yeah, you have a responsibility. God uh, dad left you with the sheep. Who why did you leave it? Who did, where, where, where are the sheep now? Where, 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 who did you, you know, and he's belittling him like my Vantashta Meat Son Haheina Bamidbar. That, Dad only gave you a couple of sheep because you're you're nobody. You're 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 a little putzik. You're only taking care of a little bit of the flock because you can't. Well, where did you leave it? You, even that you can't do. What you just left them there. Aniadati et zedoncha. We know. I know your impudence. Ve'et roa levavicha, and the wickedness in your heart. Kileman rota milchama You only came to watch the fighting. So he's belittling David. He's telling him, "Hey, little turd, what are you doing here? You know, you're little. You just came. What do you think this is? You, you, this is a little joke here. You just came. You wanted to see what a battle is. Who are you? Who, who go back? You have a little thing. You don't belong here. That's basically what he's telling. Him. Well, you don't belong here." Vayomer David. David answers him, "Ma What have I done now? Hello, Davarhu. I, I was just asking. Why are you? Why are you exploding on me? I am. I'm not. I'm not allowed to ask. I didn't." Vaisov metzlo el mulacher, vayomer kadavar haze, and he turned away from him towards someone else, and he asked the same question. Vayshivu am davar kadavar harishon, and the troops once more gave David the same answer. So in other words, David moves away from where his brother just made fun of him, moved to another one and asked him again, and he get he gets the same answer. So obviously this has something that has been widespread in the camp. This is not just a couple of troops, you know, talking and, and 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 hypothetically speaking, what will happen to a person who will come? This is obviously something that has been offered to whoever is going to be the champion of Israel. <laughs> the things David said were overheard and were reported to Shaul, who had brought him over. So it very clearly seems had they had before, what, what would it be? What would Shaul's reaction be if he would have seen David there, knowing that David was his therapist? Hmm? What was the question? Could you repeat that question? The, the, we learned from the chapter beforehand that David was his therapist, his musical therapist, right? Whenever he had whenever he had this, this bad spirit on him, David would play music. Suddenly, David goes down and he's he's steering some some kind of, of of murmur in the camp and it goes back to 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 uh Shaul that there's somebody who's asking about what you know what is the reward for uh, he, for for going to battle with this uh with this he was concerned uh, about his his well-being as a therapist that he could get injured or killed in, uh, in the situation 100 percent the first thing not only that as the king what would you be you'd be angry what the heck are you doing here you i, I need you that you know this is not for you nobody called for you here please go back you know when i need you i will call you for for your services right that'd be but it's clear here that there isn't there isn't that kind of um uh there, there isn't that kind of 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 interaction and this is why some commentaries question whether this took place before they met the music or after. In other words, it's it's not it's not it's not clear. All right, and it comes from here. Vayomer David el Shaul. David answers Shaul, who just caught him. Al yipol lev adam alav. Let no man's courage fail him. Avdechayelech, your servant. I will. I I I'm I'm volunteering. 
ונלחם עם הפלישתי הזה, and I shall battle, I shall go and fight this Philistine. In other words, he's seeing, David clearly sees the entire camp in a rut, and David says, you know what, we need to, to, to there's, 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 we're, 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 we've hit a low. I, I volunteer to go and battle this plishti. Vayomer Shaul of David, and Shaul says to David, you cannot go forward to that Philistine and fight him. Kinarata, for you're just a boy, you're young, you're a young lad. He's a seasoned warrior. In other words, you can't. He'll slaughter you. You're 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 you 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 don't you don't stand a chance. You're just a little lad. Look at this 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 guy from 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 youth. He mm -hmm. was he was he 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 fought. That's that's in his nature. Vayomer David el Shaul. David replies to Shaul. Roe hayav dechal aviv batzon. Your servant has been tending his father's sheep. Uvahari veet hadov. And I want to tell you once, once I'm watching the I'm watching the flock, and you know what? If a lion or a bear came and carried but a single one sheep from the flock, I would go after, I would go after that lion or that bear, and I would rescue that sheep. From its grasp, even if it's between its teeth. Vayakom alai vechzakti bizkano. And if it attacked me, I would grab it by the beard. In other words, a line by the mane, the 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 the, the bear by by the the fur around its mouth. Vehikitiv vahamitiv, and I would strike it down and I would kill it. So there is there is. Also here, a little bit of a, 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 a division between commentaries, whether he's saying that is how he would act, or he's actually telling him that is once that happens. In other words, he's telling him, I once rescued my sheep from a lion and from a bear, or he's telling him that I tend my flock in the following way. If a lion would come, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, be, you know, coward and, and run into the uh, away or whatever and let the lion have it with the sheep. No, I would protect my sheep. So it's one or the other. He's showing him uh, the characteristic that David has. David has a particular responsibility. He would carry it out even if it's uh, there's in danger. And he's very brave. Yeah. Gam hadov hikav dechan. Here he tells him. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. Or you can read it, whether a lion or whether a bear, I would kill it. There's no difference between that guy over there and one of those, the threatening lions or the bear. So now we see why it was very important for, for the text to put it into... Um, to, to give us that, 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 that idea that he is a shepherd. Why? He sees the entire army of Israel as sheep. And there is a line or a bear that, that has come to, to asking them to take one, right? Asking one on one. And David said, I will protect. Doesn't make a difference. I would, res I, I would go out and rescue that one sheep. And that's, that sheep right now is going to be him. That's what he said. Okay. Um, he goes, I'm going to go out and just as I would wipe out or I've wiped out those wild beasts, I'm going to wipe out that Philistine and he will end up like one of them for he has defied the ranks of our God, of the living God, of our God. Vayomer David, the Lord, David now says, Adonai asher hitzilani miyad hari miyad adov. David continued and said, God, the same one who saved me, or some say, who would have saved me? He had bitachon, he, he had such belief in, in God that who, who would have rescued me from the mouth of the lion or from the grasp of a bear? Who yatsileni miyara plishti haze? He will save me 
and he will watch over me from the from the threat of this Philistine. Vayomer Shaul David Lech, and he convinces Shaul, and he's got, Shaul finally relents and says, "Fine, I give you permission to go." May God be with you. May the force be with you. This is where they get it. You know, this is not a Star Wars. Did not invent that. Okay. Vayelbesh Shaul David Madav. Shaul clothed David in his own garments. What was his garments? Benatan kova nechoshet al rosho. He placed also a helmet of a bronze helmet on his head. Vayelbesh oto shirion, and he also put on armaments. Okay, uh, a breastplate, but. In other words, he's dressing him up for war. He's going to protect him by, by putting armaments on him. And he also gave him above it. He gave him, uh, he girded this, his sword over the garment. But once he put all the, the weaponry and, the, uh, and all, 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 all the, the, the clothing and then the protection, he he stumbled. He was it was it was difficult for him uh, uh, to walk. Kilo nisa, because this is something that he was just simply not used to. And Vayomer David Shaul lo chal lalechet beele kilo nisiti. I'm sorry, but I simply do not. I, I I'm not comfortable. I can't maneuver around with all these things on me. Vayasirem David me'alav, and David proceeds and removes all of these battle gear. From 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 him. So in other words, he's he's unarmed, or or at least unprotected. Vaikach maklobe ado. He takes his stick or his staff in his hands. Um, again, we have that that stick, which which is a little reference as well to to Moshe, right? Maklo. Vayfchar lo chamisha halukei avanim min hanachal. And there, he picks five smooth particular stones from within the wadi. There he puts it in a little pocket which the shepherd's bag they used to have a the shepherds used to carry. So apparently they had, I guess, like a tool bag or some kind of of, of little um a tote bag of some some sort. Um and he takes he takes puts it into this little bag, and the sling, he has a sling which in his hand. And he presents himself before the Philistine. El David. Meanwhile, the Philistine, meanwhile, was coming closer and approached closer and closer to David. Preceded by his shield bearers. So remember, Goliath had all his armaments, which weighed a ton, and he also had one particular person who carried his shield for him. So so the, the 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 man bearing the shield is in front of Goliath walking towards David. David When the Philistine caught sight of David, he scorned and made fun of him. Kiaya Naar, for he was but just a lad, he was he was ginger, he was he was he was redhead. Im and he was a ruddy and a handsome kid. In other words, not made, not he was not this had battle battle, battle scars or, or 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 he was like a little kid, um, not not made for for the battlefield, and he scorns him. Vayomer haplishtil David, the Philistine yells out to David, Achelvanochi, what am I? Am I a dog? that you're coming with me with a stick. What are you going to do? You're going to beat me with a stick? Vaikalela plishti et David belohav. And the Philistine cursed out David with his gods. In other words, the Philistine used his gods with uh, and cursed David. Vayomer haplishti el David. Finally, the Philistine sees, he wants to make a mockery of this. He finally calls out to David, Lechalai, why don't you come over here? Vetna et besarcha. Come on here, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the sky and to the beasts of the field. Meaning, I'm going to rip you apart. I'm going to rip you into pieces. Okay? David answers the Philistine, 
No, 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 no. You come to me. Becherev ufchanit ufchidon. You're coming with to me with a sword, with a spear, with a javelin. So you have all these armaments and all these weaponry. Vanochi vaelecha. I am coming towards you. Beshem Adonai Tzavot. I am coming to you in the name of of our God, the hosts, the ranks of of Israel. Eloi Marachot Asher Cheravta, the God whom you have defied. So in other words, he says, I'm unarmed. You you have all these things. I'm coming with you. I'm coming in front of you because of God. Ayomazeh. Now hear me out. Today, this very day, Yazgercha Adonai Beadi Vehikiticha. God will deliver you into my hands, and I will kill you. Vahasiroti et roshcha mealecha. I will remove your head from from upon you. Venatati peger machanef lishtim hayom azeh, and I will give the carcass of the Philistines' camp leof hashemayim ulchayat haaretz. Just as you have told us, not only me, you're going to feed your entire the entire camp of the Philistines. Uh, we will wipe them out, uh, and their carcasses will be eaten by the birds of the sky, uchayat arts, and the beasts of the earth. Ve'adu kol ha'aretz, and then the entire land will know. The entire earth will know. Kiyesh Elohim le'Israel, for Israel has a god. Ve'adu kol ha'kahal This entire encampment will know. Ki lo becherev uvchanit Yoshia Adonai. God does not. God will not deliver through either a sword or through a javelin, through a spear. Because the outcome of the war is all up to God. It's 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 up to God what happened with the battle. And I'm certain and I know that God will deliver you in our hands. So in other words, he's telling you you're 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 relying on your your weaponry. I have the ultimate because the the decision of who wins is not through your weapons; it is through our God. Vehaya, and it was he kam haplishti vayelech vaykrav likrat David, and as the Philistine began to advance in a maneuver to attack uh, uh, David, vay maher David, and David quickly ran. And David uh, runs forward into the battle lines to face the Philistines. So he's now moving quickly. David proceeds to, to put, takes out his, uh, stretches out his hand and puts it into his bag. And there he takes one of those stones which he, which he uh, collected. And he slung it. Vayachet aplishti el mitzcho, and he hit, he hit the Philistine in the forehead and the temple. Vatidba ha'even be mitzcho, and the stone was so it was flung so hard that the stone sank into the forehead. Vaypol al panav artsa, and the giant fell forward, smack on his face on the ground. Forward. Vayechazak David min aplishtim bekela uva even. Thus, David bested the Philistine with the sling and with the stone. Vayach et haplishti vaimitehu. There, David struck the Philistine and he killed him. Vecherev ein bia David, while David did not even carry a sword. So, in other words, what's the what's the idea of sword? Sword was metal. He had no metal. He had no. In those days, he 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 was. He did not, in terms of arms, he, you can't compare him. He was, it was, he had barely any armaments in 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 comparison to uh, to the Philistine. Vayaretz David, vayamod el haplishti. So David ran up and stood over the giant carcass of of the Philistine. Vaykachet harbo, and he removed the sword of the Philistine. Vayishlafa mitara vaymotetehu, and he removed the sword. The sword from with, within its its carrying case within the seat the sheet, um, and there he dispatched it and 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 and, and he killed 
uh, or, or was already dead, but now he, he like literally now we know symbolically he's he 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 he, he killed him there. Vaichrot ba et rosho, and with this sword he removed Goliath's head. Vairu haplishtim kimet giboram, and there the plishtim witnessed that their champion had died. Vayanusu, and they fled. Vayakuban she Israel vihuda, and the men of Israel and the men of Judah, they suddenly rose up. Um, this again could be either obviously both physically but also spiritually. Suddenly, can you imagine they thought that here comes a, a killing? This is you know that has no end. Obviously, they 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 have you know a great a great uh, um, a feeling rose upon them when they saw David one. Vayariu and they pulled out a cry. Vayadefuet plishtim and they started pursuing the Philistines. Ad boachagai the uh, all the way out to Gai, Ve'ad Share Ekron, and all the way to the gates of Ekron, which was all in the territory of um, of the Philistines. Vayplu Chale Plishtim Bederech Sha'araim, and the the uh, the troops of the Philistines fell mortally wounded along the road. Bederech Sha'araim Ve'ad Gat Ve'ad Ekron on the road all the way from Shar to Sha'arim up to Gath and up to the up to Ekron. In other words. As they were retreating, the Israelites were wiping them out, just as David said. No, see? Yes. Gracious, why do they say um, the previous line, the in previous verse, um, the men of Israel and Judah? Excellent. So, so Anshe, you, we, we see very clearly um, part, part, of, part of the division was... Um, Remember, remember uh, in, in a couple of, of hundreds of years, there's going to be a separation of Judah and Israel, right? The north and the yeah. south, and, and Judah becomes, um, uh, Judah has this, 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 uh, uh, there's a stigma still within, within the way that, that, that the nation was forming, that there was clearly two divisions. Um, and one of the challenges was making everybody come together. We've seen it before, by the way, other battles where we have battles and then suddenly B'nai Ephraim come in. And I think mm -hmm. part of that is that Yehuda brought an abnormally high percentage of, of, of warriors. Why? In other words, it's not just that they were that, but there was a whole battalion from Judah. It, it makes sense that the way that the battalions were set up was, you know, this. if you took from all from all the other places of Israel... Right. Let's say they amassed an X amount. They amass from all of them. Let's say they brought roughly the same amount. And let's say, yeah, let's say you know, ten thousand from this tribe, ten thousand from this, ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand. But where were they battling? They were battling in Judah. So who who had the biggest skin in, uh, in, uh, in the game? In Judah. B'nai Yehuda. So there was literally a whole battalion or a huge amount of of warriors that came. To represent Judah because they were fighting in Judah. Understand? So that's kind of. But there are definitely still. We see that the entire uh, uh, population was not yet reunited as under under one clan. There is still divisions of where they are from. But mm -hmm. I believe that the, the 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 pasuk is telling us that Judah was represented much greater proportionately than all the other tribes. Because they had a vested interest in it, because the war was there to protect. Had they lost, they would have been the first most susceptible to 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 the uh, to the Plishtim. That is why later on, as we learn from David, he was the first one. Where was David from? We learned before. Where was David from? Bethlehem, yeah. right? Bethlehem, yeah. right? But yeah. yet, where did he make his? Where where was? Where where did he he bring the kingdom to? Um, Jerusalem. The capital. The capital became Jerusalem. It's di a different in a different place. Why? He had the foresight. Yeah, yeah. He had the foresight that if you don't go out and represent the people, and if you only stay in your city, right, then people will always see that you only represent your 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 constituents, the ones that you know. He went out. And actually went to the center of, of, of Israel. 
genius. Genius that now you look at it, but absolutely that is that is why Yerushalayim is became what it is because it represented everybody. Right? He almost yeah. took a neutral place and made it Ir David, made it into the capital, which is what all modern, if you think about it, uh, it follow follows suit from that. That's three thousand yeah. plus years ago. Okay, but that's that's a good point. That was one of the failures of Shaul. As you'll see later on, when we see the story of David, you will see that people, you know, the, Shaul had followers, but where? Where he's from, those closest to him. Why? Because those closest to him, those that knew him, are the people that Shaul can trust the most. And those are the people who he will give the closest and the biggest jobs to. Which means, why would it be in the interest of somebody who lives very far from, from Shaul to follow Shaul when he's not they, they don't have access to the same positions or 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 if you want to say representation. Um, Understand? Jesse, the second question is: Yeah, Goliath was saying, "If I beat the Israel warrior, um, you know, the Israelites will be my slaves." And the the reverse: If uh, you kill me, we will be your slaves. Mm -hmm. um, there's no mention of this anymore. Very very clear. So. So two things. Number one, if you remember when when David came forward, first of all, there was no no mention that that the Israelites accepted this uh, proposal. There was nobody coming for for right for for forty days and plus. He was going out and saying this, and and nobody came forth. Nobody said, "Sure, we accept these terms." This is what he was saying. Um, secondly, when he this is this was the difference between the war. That it was a physical war, or it was for David. David looked at Goliath and said, "This guy is defiling God." That's what he said. It's not. It's not about me. It's not about slaves. He's defiling God. They're not going to be our. And later, and if you remember when when Goliath saw, look what he says. Right when he saw him, what did he said? I will make you right here. Sorry, don't not hear that, but that's his retort. He tell he tells them I I uh, the the Philistine warns David that I will I will give your flesh off to the birds of the sky. What does David say? Ah uh ah, -uh. what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the entire encampment of Plishtim will be the will 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 pay the price. In other words, it's not it's not just you and I. It's not only you, and that's okay. But there was no there was no mention that they that they signed the treaty or or an agreement that that they, they would be. But obviously that is. Part of it, which will happen, as you will see shortly. Okay. So they're they're chasing them all the way down to Sharim, Vadgat, and 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 Ekron, which are cities in 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 the Philistine uh, um, uh, how do you call it uh, territory. Vayashuhu bnei Israel midloka chreiflishtim. The Israelites returned from chasing the Philistines. Vayashosu et machanehem, and they looted their camps. Vaikach David et Rosh Haplishti, and David took the head of the Philistine, Vaivio Yushalayim, he brought it to Jerusalem, Vet Kilav Sam Ba'ohalo, and he put his weapons in his own tent. So, in other words, he, he, he took the spoils, which, which was uh, Goliath's uh, uh, armaments and, and, and his head. Yeah. Kind of barbaric, right? <laughs> you know what you can't listen barbaric did, 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 did you see what uh, what happened on October 7th well I know uh, but, uh, you know the, 3, like yeah, 3500 years years later not 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 much different from 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 uh, uh, this this is also the way that it was war it was it was waged not between you know hidden in in in, in people's homes and 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 uh, you know you have a professor and you have a, a, a how do you call it a, a doctor Who's in charge of uh, of watching your uh, the 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 uh, yeah. what what's her name uh, Noah that was that was that was just rescued that's who that's who you know these are innocent Palestinians it happens to be a doctor and a professor who is who's who's in charge of 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 holding kidnapped people that's 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 who is who are the innocent people so yeah. at least this was this was war between warriors in other words there's something also. Um, if you want to say uh, uh, 
altruistic about what Goliath's offer was. You know, we'll have one one for obviously the the, the tides it was in his favor because he was seen as you know physically he was strong, etc. But there is something about rather than losing all, all these lives, you know, one on one we'll 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 figure it out. You know, over a game of shesh fish. You know, whoever wins chooses. No, but they realized that that's for for David it was not about that the physical war. The the it was a spiritual war that would manifest itself in a physical way, and that's what happened with with the battle. Okay, and yes, in the old name, by the way, it was gruesome. If you think of Abraham, but and no loyalty either, like because uh, David did his job, but Saul was jealous. And yeah, that's, to... that we'll, we'll we'll get to it later. There's absolutely going to be loyalty, as you will see. A hundred percent, there's going to be. That's that's going to be later on as as it develops. Okay, but but um, that's that, that's some that's something <laughs> else. Okay. Vechirot Shaul et David yotze likrat haplishti. Now we're going back. Okay, a little bit. When Shaul saw David going out to assault the Philistine, Amar. El Avner Sar Hatzava. He asked his army commander Avner, Ben Mizehanar Avner. Avner, whose son is that boy? Who is he? Vayomer Avner, Chinaf Shecha Melech Inedati. And Avner answers, By my life, Your Majesty, I have no clue. I don't know who he is. So in other words, Shaul clearly does not know who he is, right? He doesn't. He doesn't really know. Obviously, he doesn't know the connection between David and the three his three brothers who are serving for him, etc. So now we're going getting some more detail. Please. So Shaul Shaul asked Avner, who was his general, find out for me. Ben who who who's who's from what lineage? That's what he's he wants to know what family he's from. David and now we're going back again. Now, yeah, now forward, to, forward to the we present. Have a PowerPoint. Part, nothing, something. nothing. Oh. Yeah. David, yeah. David, yeah. When David uh, had returned back from uh, uh, from defeating the Philistine, Vaikachoto Avner, Shaul, Avner asked him to please take with, come with him, and he brought him forward to Shaul, while he was still carrying the head of the Philistine in his hand. Vayomer alaf Shaul. Shaul asks him, Bein miya tahanar? My boy, whose son are you? Vayomer David. David answers, Ben avdecha Yishai, Beit halachmi. I am the son of your servant Jesse from Bethlehem. And this is how the chapter ends. So this is, of course, David ben Yishai, Beit halachmi. Um, and, and, we do see something which is very interesting. There is there is a little bit of a mention. I don't know if anybody brought brought, but that Jerusalem was mentioned here, right? Mm -hmm. But this is not really where the base of um, of uh, uh, Shaul is, as we will see. Shaul, this is not this, Shaul. Always goes back home to where he's from. This is when, especially when when his when he has this evil spirit and he doesn't trust anybody, who's going to feel most comfortable with? People closer to his family, closer to his tribesmen. So we are, are the Davids. Pardon? <laughs> the Jews are the Davids, and the rest of the world is the Goliath. So I, 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 I think it's, it's the way I see it. Yeah, I think I think it's an an an, an really an amazing. Uh, I mean, there's 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 no words. I still try to to figure how everything is spinning in a certain way and the world spins it out, you know, like how dare Israel rescue with yeah. such hard yeah. hands, you know, like like the the victims here are are the perpetrators of the crime, you know, like that's it's, unreal. It's, it's, it's it's quite quite astonishing, you know, we have to show res, restri you know, like this uh, 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 all the countries that want to grant, you know, like uh, the, 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 the Palestinians, you know, nationhood, but don't want to hold them responsible as a nation to to world accepted rules because they're not a nation but we're a nation you know where it's good for them we will give them the the the, the nod as as a people as as they, they have their own land whatever it is where it is we don't know but who knows um 
but but they're not treated as 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 a nation among but the but in the UN they're they're treated as but they're not but but when it comes to to Palestine they're not as 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 and and the Hamas is not really Palestinians that's a different entity it's not the Palestinian people like it's 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 absolutely like a, it's it's absurd it's 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 beyond you 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 write that in history and somebody's going to correct it and and erase it and say it can't be you know like this was the this is because how can you say that i mean it it it's it, 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 it's it's mind, it's absolutely mind boggling it's 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 with the same by the way with the same uh um uh, trend of thought if you want to want to say it then it actually it, it was the germans that were the the victims of world war 2 yeah. And it was Britain and the Allies who were the perpetrators, because if you look at it, about two and a half million, you know, Germans uh, died in the war. And I don't know, about 300,000 or 400,000 British people. So I don't know about you, but it's, it's, if I do the math, two and a half million, you know, or two million people is 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 more than than 400,000. So obviously... You know the Germans were the the good people, and they are the the they're the victims. No, that's not that. It doesn't go by by how many victims. It it goes by who started the war, who are the initiators, and who the. It doesn't go by one for one death, and you know if there's one that's, you know you don't start a war that you're 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 incapable of finishing. That's 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 part of it, and 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 it has nothing to do, and it's a manipulation and uh, a villainization, if you want to say. Of 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 Jews, forget about it. It's not even Israel. It's specifically Jews, a hundred percent. There's no question about it. But anyways, it's a uh, that's that's a topic for 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 another discussion. But uh, here we see David, this little um, little uh, pisher that 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 comes victorious from from that. And and I I you know you're you're saying that Esther, and I I truly believe there is there's some there's something looming. That is going to be much greater soon. So it's uh, we have and we have to believe because this is this. Otherwise, it's I mean, it's uh, I, I you have to have just like David. This is beyond just the physical. There is something here that is that is God willing. Uh, and and and, you know, what happened a couple of days ago with the four hostages, God willing. I mean, I don't know about you, but when you I hear that your your heart is like. You know, so I, I, I just hope that we hear. More rescues and. God willing, there will be. Home. Yeah, I'm convinced. Yeah. I'm, did, did you know read it, my I, heart? Did you read about the rescue? How it how it uh, unfolded? I I read part of it. I, I saw part of it. Um, I don't know all the details. Um, part of it it's it's. They were am like ambushed twice. When they were in the the uh, the cars to get them out of there, and the cars were attacked. The first car was attacked, so they got them out of the first car, and another truck or uh, tank, I don't know, came to get them, and they got into the second one, and the same thing happened with the second one, and finally, a third one came. Can you imagine? They were so prepared with three cars that, that finally the third car got them out of there. Yeah. No, this is... This is um... So close, they yeah. almost. Well, one un unfortunately, you know, one of the the leaders, uh, how do you call it? One of the captains of, uh, you know, was 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 killed. Um, but this is these are heroes beyond heroes. You know, when you see, you know, you 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 see uh, uh, movies of Arnold Schwarzenegger going into, you know, uh, tropical this, and he's gonna, you know, and he and he ransacks them and he shoots or whatever. But it's it's clear this is this is beyond like like the, the the tactical precision and and just the whole orchestration of it is 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 you know when you when when you go and you see uh uh like a show for uh Le Havdil, you know uh Cirque du Soleil and you know and they crisscross and and these guys are in the background and one guy jumps but you know when you look you know, when you're sitting from far and you see them all crisscrossing it makes a much bigger pattern and it, all, all the way that it, it's it's mind like it's it's unbelievable the 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 intricacies of such uh, 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 like missions and it's it's really it's a, part part of it is is literally a miracle in terms of of what happened and we witnessed it and and this is what I'm saying there's going to be there is 
God willing, I, I truly believe I and I and I hope that that we will hear some. There's going to be a, something that's going to uh, there. There are things behind the scene and that play and you know how and where it comes in. I don't know, but if you're not, it's hard to be to be a not a, a not a believer to 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 see you know such things going on. That it has to be something higher at play. So I, at least that's my that that's the way that I I, I see it. I'm not saying. But there's something God willing will we will all be 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 witnesses of. So let's hear yeah. of, of more Gula. This is uh, you know, and um I also hold on one second. Let me 